a scorcher it is today my friends you know it's officially well summer is officially over however we are experiencing a heat wave here in australia yesterday it was I think almost 40 degrees and today we're in the mid 30s it's so hot i should be at the beach but you know what i was not well at all yesterday i spent the whole day in bed i had no energy i had a very heavy head so yesterday was a complete write-off for me so i really need to get stuck into work today and i thought i'd ease into my week with a thrift with me in my local hometown of tukley so i'm bringing you guys along of course and I'm hoping I find, you know, some treasures as always, vintage especially. And I'm also hoping to get through as many op shops as I can in my local hometown. I'm just finishing the remains of my coffee and then I will brave the heat and hit the op shops. So I'll see you inside. Okay, you guys, that was very anticlimactic. There was a great promotion in there, fill a bag for five bucks, but all the good stuff is gone. There was absolutely zero. So I'm hoping I get better luck in the salvos, which I am walking to right now.
Okay, it's one o'clock. I want to go to my corner little op shop. That wasn't too bad. I didn't end up with many pieces out of that little haul, but I'm happy with the lot that I took. So let's let's see how I go in this one. I'm going to take these things to the car and I think I'm going to call it a day. What I will do though is pick up this video tomorrow and visit a few other op shops in my hometown and then we can discuss all the pieces. So, all right, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning to you, my sweet friends. Oh, I'm a little lopsided, aren't I? The camera's like that, but I'm just using my bag as a tripod anyway. You guys, it's Wednesday today. Wednesday? Yes, Wednesday. I kind of am losing my days because I was sick on Monday. Okay, so today I am hoping to get to three, if not four, op shops. The fourth being Lifeline. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Lifeline because to me, they are not a charity store. They are more a retail store. The prices in there are pretty hefty. So, you know, if we don't, get to them in time I won't be too worried but I am sitting right outside my little humble church op shop on main road to Clee. I'm gonna go in there and raid the one dollar racks it's probably the only op shop left in Tookley that still does one dollar racks so I love raiding those if I don't find anything there I'll have a quick squeeze through the main store and then we will continue on but again it's just a beautiful beautiful gorgeous day mid 30s as you can see I'm dressed for it I'm just gonna have a couple more sips of this and I'll see you guys inside I have the best luck and find amazing vintage but let's start here Suzanne extra small it's a nice soft fabric but I'm not into the sleeve what's this this is country road it's a white shirt with a bib front I'm not sure I'm into that maybe we'll give that a try Okay, so I'm on to the third rack and I came across this trench coat in a beautiful pistachio green, but it's not translating. No, it's not picking up what a pretty green it is, but it's kind of very slim and I'm not sure. Look, I'll give it a go. Look at these vintage pants that I found. This tiny little check print is in blue and olive green. They're so cool but they're a size 14. However, they might work for 
my stock online. So I've got to try that on. Okay, so I found this top in my favorite color, this lilac. It's a deep V. Hopefully it won't be too big on me because it's a medium. And this brand, Suzanne Gray, is very generous in their sizing. A little cap sleeve. I've got to try it on. And right behind that top is this pretty little thing wrap shirt. It's not too bad, but the fabric is just awful. It's a very cheap polyester. This is a fast fashion brand and so I am going to pass. Okay, so I'm on the last rail and I found this vintage size 14 kind of cardigan coat, so coatigan. Okay, so these buttons are not the real leather 70s style. They're just acrylic or plastic. I'm not sure, but it's worth a try. Look at this cute little dress. It's by Dotty. It's a size 10. This is not me, so I'm going to leave it for somebody else. I'm going to the fitting rooms to try these pieces on. A total of six dollars three were from the dollar rack and the pants were three dollars I really love those pants and they just may be a wide leg pant that actually works on me the trick to styling wide leg pants my friends is to pick the right shoe it can make or break the outfit but I'll discuss that later okay next stop we're not gonna have time to go to the lifeline so it's going to be Vinnie's next okay see you there okay guys we're here Love, love this top. So it's by Suzanne. It's ten dollars and a size ten. Love the sleeve. Love the high neck. Love the window pane print and the voluminous shape. The only thing that may put me off is this seam on the chest, which can sometimes create an awkward bust. So I'm going to try that on. This is such a pretty skirt. It's by Dotty. It's a size 10. I'm just not sure about this peach color. It's never been my color, but I am still looking for something for my brother's wedding. So I'm going to try that one on. And 
although I'm not really sure about the mixed print of this dress, I do love polka dots and stripes. However, this mix-up of them, I'm not really sure. It's also an extra small, so it may not fit. And this one is 10. So I'm going to give that a go because it's got pockets and I love the little tiered skirt. It could work. All right, let us try on these things. Love, 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 love that top, you guys. I love it. Okay, next stop. Okay, I'll see you guys at home. So my friends, I am here to give you guys the try on haul portion of this video. I went to six op shops in two days. There are a total of seven op shops in my hometown of Tukli. Like I said, Lifeline was the seventh. I would have liked to include Lifeline in this thrift with me, but unfortunately I ran out of time. So that I will leave for another day. So let us begin with the very first op shop I visited. So I started off in the Salvos and I came across this vintage houndstooth blazer jacket from the label Fletcher Jones. Now this is a tailored piece, it's a size 12. And so it's a little oversized on me, but I do like the way it fit. It does not have a collar and this is the only thing that I'm kind of on the fence about. I prefer blazers with a collar, a statement collar and lapel. So that was the only deterrent, but I took it because I see the quality, the craftsmanship, the beautiful tailoring, in this jacket and I thought I could make it work and I'm quite happy with how it turned out in the try on haul portion. I love the black piping around the grandpa collar and on the sleeve with the little split. I think it's a beautiful detail and of course down the button placket with these contrast black buttons. So the seams in this jacket are what makes it a tailored tapered style of jacket. But again, on me, a little oversized because of the size. And it's kind of a little tapered in the back. All in all, I think this was a great find for $8. It is vintage after all. It's 100% wool, so a beautiful piece for the winter time. This is the kind of jacket you can dress up or down, style it in a corporate way or a weekend way. Whatever style, it's always going to look very timeless and chic in my opinion. I also took the white Bermuda shorts in the Salvos. Now these were $5. They are so beautifully made. 
so beautifully cut. I just absolutely love them. I do have a pair of white Bermuda shorts, but I think I may like these ones better. So I'm gonna compare the two, keep the one I love more, sell the other one on my shop, and yeah, I just love Bermuda shorts. I've spoken of my obsession with them, I think since the beginning of my channel. They are just so flattering in my opinion. Yes, they are vintage looking. If you style Bermuda shorts in the right way, they can look ultra modern and cool and just so timeless. And that for me speaks to my personal style. So I just thought these were absolutely gorgeous. Also vintage by the label Fashion Warehouse, made in Australia a size 14, but they were not too big on me. And with a belt, they were perfect around the waist. I'm just not sure how they looked in the leg, but I'll know for sure when I compare them to the ones I already have. They are a polyester viscose blend. They have belt loops, beautiful discreet pockets on the side. Although these shorts have slight pleating, they are a flat front. And that for me is the make or break. I think when it comes to vintage trousers and shorts, I prefer a flat front. I did thrift a couple of gorgeous pairs of shorts that are pleated at the front, way more than this, and I just don't think they suit me. I think I'm too short to pull off that very pleated look at the front. So this for me is my comfort zone, and I just could not let them go. And finally, from the salvos, I also grabbed this little mini skirt with a lot of volume, and I just love, love that silhouette. It suits me because I'm short and petite. I have no idea who makes this, or if it's vintage, it is lined. They had a price tag of $6, but green tags were half price, so the skirt in actual fact cost me $3. I just love it. I just know I'm gonna wear it a lot. I'm very into this look at the moment with Western boots and a cute little top with big puff sleeves, you know, that's just the look that I envisioned. I feel like this is a cotton viscose blend and the elastic waist makes it just so comfortable and easy to style because if I am wearing a top that is a little cropped, I can hike it a little higher and if I want it lower, I can do that as well. I don't know, it's just very cute, very me and I just love it. Okay, so I just remembered that the first op shop was actually that little op shop where I found nothing. That was the first, then I went into the Salvos, and then lastly to the Alira op shop where I took these green, forest green, I would say, trouser pants. Now, I almost didn't take these because they were really tight on me, but what my mum did was she moved the placement of the button for me. Because the button was all the way over here, she had a lot of fabric to play with. She could move the button closer to the closure where the zip is. It fits me better, however, I still think that it's a little tight on me. And there's no pockets to give it a little bit more of a slouch. Because usually when trouser pants have pockets, it just has a more slouchy, relaxed fit than pants that don't have pockets. So for me, I wouldn't classify these as trousers. To me, these are dress pants. They are vintage by the label Delina Sydney, size eight, and they are made in Australia in 100% polyester. So very simple, just a button zip closure. And in my opinion, if they had finished these pants with pockets, they would have been absolutely stunning. There's very slight pleating at the front, a very wide leg in the thigh, and it tapers down the leg. There's also a little bit of elastic in the waistband, which was the saving grace for me, otherwise there is no way they would have fit. So I stretched it out, and yeah, that's how they looked on me. But yeah, these were $2. Okay, so today I started off in my little church op shop and I came across these vintage trouser pants. Now these are way, way too big on me. I didn't even style these in a cutaway because they're just not my size and they're not gonna look great. But I did take them for my online shops, which are always linked in the description box of my videos, you guys. I sell on eBay and Depop. I just thought they would be a great addition to my shop. I love vintage trouser pants. I don't think they make them the same anymore. I just thought these were a beautiful color. They're in a gorgeous blue and olive. If I come close, hopefully 
you can see that a lot better than when I was in the fitting rooms. They have a button zip closure. They also have pockets, which I absolutely love. Elastic in the waist, which is just made for comfort. And these ones are by DeMart. They're a size 14 and they are polyester with 3% elastine. Okay, so I've just changed the camera to a different position because it was getting kind of dark. So hopefully you can see me better now. Okay, so those pants that I just showed you were on the $1 rack as was this country road shirt with the bib style front. I was not sure whether to take this or not, you guys, because this bib front, I'm not sure about. Is it a little dated? I don't know, you tell me. But it is 100% cotton, it's country road. They're a great Australian label, kind of pricey. I also liked the wide sleeve and the cuff detail, and it's just very well made. The size has been taken out, so not sure what size it is. I would say it's a 10. So I like the way it turned out in the cutaway, but I much prefer an oversized white shirt with a collar, this is a little different for me. But like I said, I did like how it looked when I styled it up. So for a dollar, my friends, that is a really great find. If you do not own at least one button down white shirt, then I suggest you go out and get yourself one immediately. I, 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 I just don't know where I would be without a white button down shirt. You know, you can dress a white shirt up or down. You can wear it all throughout the year in the summertime. You can roll the sleeves up to a short sleeve. You can also wear it as an overshirt. So over a tee or a tank top with jeans or trousers or denim shorts. There are endless ways to wear a white button up shirt. So my friends, these gorgeous trousers were $3 from the main part of the op shop. These trousers are by DeCuba. They are a size eight and they are a polyester viscose blend. Wide leg pants, they have never worked on me, my friends. I am a shorty and wide leg pants usually overwhelm my frame. These ones, however, I think I think, you let me know in the comments, I think they actually work on me. They're gorgeously made. I love this plaid, this classic black and white plaid is just so gorgeous. I love the discreet pockets, love the belt loops, although I did not wear a belt in the try on haul portion. These pants are actually a mid rise, not a high rise. And the way I styled them with the white country road shirt, I just felt with a belt, it was just, I don't know, it was too much on the pants. If they were high-waisted, I may have went for the belt, but because they were mid-rise, I just wanted all, all the length in the torso of the pants to not be cut off by a belt. Am I making sense? Maybe not, but anyway, I just went without a belt because I thought it looked better without a belt, right? And on the back, these pockets are faux pockets. Most of these very on-trend brands like DeCuba and Country Road and Witchery will not, you know, go that extra mile and put in real pockets. I'm asking for too much, I guess. But they have a button and little hook closure with the zip and that gorgeous wide leg. But because they're not ultra long and they are mid-rise, they suit me. If these were a high-waisted pair of pants, I don't think they would have suited me. They would have taken up all my body and I just would have been all pants. I just love, love, love this plaid. This black and white plaid is probably one of my favorite prints for winter. It's just gorgeous. And also it's quite well made because you can see that the print aligns. It may be a tiny little bit mismatched, but they've done a pretty good job. Some labels, brands are so obviously terribly aligned that no matter how much I love the pants or skirt, I will not take them because of that reason. And so when it comes to pairing a shoe with a wide leg pant, it has to be, for me, a heavy shoe. It needs to be able to carry that volume, but also the wide leg. So if you're wearing a pair of slouchy trouser pants, but that taper in and are more of a mum style, you can wear a loafer, you can wear a heel, and they're gonna look 
they're still gonna look great. But with a wide leg pant, you're not only dealing with a lot of fabric, you are dealing with a very wide circumference around your foot. So a chunky trainer, a high top trainer, those lug boots or tractor sole boots, they work well and combat boots, just a chunky loafer would work. In my humble opinion, that's the kind of shoe that works best with a wide leg pant. And also from the $1 racks in the back, I ended up taking this Teddy Coatigan. So on camera, it's looking much more blue than it really is. It's a cross between blue and green. I just thought I'm gonna throw this on over the plaid pants and the white country road shirt and see how it looks. And it looked Gorge. The thing with winter is that you can wear colors that are kind of drab. You know, the eggplants, the burgundies, the blacks, the browns, all those colors can end up looking, you know, gray, charcoal, a bit boring. So a pop of color in something so cozy looking like this, I thought just worked beautifully with that outfit. This is a great piece. This is by that DeMart label as well. It's made in Malaysia. It's a size 14 and it's 100% polyester and it also comes with an extra button. This is just a beautiful pop of color and also a very easy wearable throw on kind of cardigan that looks a little more structured and feels a little bit more like a coat. And I'm just really pleased at the way it worked out. Out. There are just things about it, I think, that make it a cool piece. This collar is gorgeous. The buttons, even though they are plastic and not leather. The pockets, I love it. Tell me you love it too. Come on, you guys. So then I went into my local Vinnie's and I found this gorgeous, gorgeous blouse. I love this. This is so me, this blouse. It's so so gorgeous, timeless, classic, chic. And let me tell you all the reasons why I love it. It's a viscose blouse, so the fabric is not polyester. It's viscose, and I don't mind viscose. The sleeve, I'm always about a statement sleeve. It's just, I don't know, it's my thing. This high neck, you know I love a high neck, right? It's just, oh my God. And the window pane print, I think, is beautiful. You may not be able to tell, but there is black, white, and blue in this print. And in the back, it's a little twin button closure in a mother of pearl detail. Also, I forgot to mention this little seam at the front of the blouse, which would have been the make or break for me. Luckily, it turned out and I like it. I even liked it more when I styled it up in the cutaway and wore the right bra for it. This is, this is just, oh my God. I love, love this piece. And you guys, this is new with tags. Recommended retail, $69.95, size 10. And I paid, as you guys saw, $10. And I'll mention it again, why not? I used to work for Suzanne, my friends. I used to manage Suzanne stores. Yes, I did. That was a very, very long time ago, my friends, before Gabriel was born. You know what? I have thrifted a few pieces from Suzanne lately in the last 12 months, and they are still all in my wardrobe, and I have no intentions of letting any of those pieces go. This skirt is also Suzanne, my friends, and I love it. Because you can hardly detect the black in this blouse, I took that color, the most minimal color, and tied black into the rest of my outfit. The black denim, the black loafers. I just loved, loved, loved this piece. I love it. And in the last op shop of all, my little Christian church op shop, I found this graphic print blouse, which kind of blew me away because I am not one who's into this graphic print. Never. I love stripes, polka dots, plaid, very classic, timeless prints. This print is kind of really modern and I love the colorway, the chocolate and the cream. So this piece is actually a collaboration H&M did with Richard Allen. And I think it's beautiful. This piece is so well made. That's something I noticed straight away. Maybe because it is a collaboration, they took extra care in the finishing of the item. I'm not sure. I love the wide sleeve and the button cuff detail. I also thought the collar was really nice, whether you wear this buttoned right up 
or you leave it into a deep V. Both worked for me. But in the print, you can see the designer's name, Richard Allen, his signature, and it's all over the shirt. And in the back, it has that very slight pleating that creates more movement in the blouse. I think it's a great piece and I love the colorway. It's just so, so classic. Neutrals are just never ever gonna date, right? Are they boring? Maybe sometimes, but are they always classic and timeless? And can you make them look very chic and they will always, always be in style? Yes, my friends. So like I said, this is by H&M in collaboration with Richard Allen. It's a size 40 Europe, which is actually a size 12 Australian. And it's 100% polyester, but it is not that H&M polyester that they use that I absolutely hate. It's almost like a vintage polyester, you guys. And so my friends, that rounds up this two day thrift with me, a total of how many pieces? Oh God, I forget, I forget. They're all on the floor now because they're going in the wash. So I don't know, but I'm so happy with every single piece, whether it's for me or for my shop. I think it's pretty split in the middle evenly. The pieces were both vintage and modern and had a beautiful autumnal winter feel, which I'm so excited for. That's probably because I am melting away in this heat wave that we are experiencing here in Australia. But I am so looking forward to autumn, winter 2023. I am, oh, I've got so many new pieces in my wardrobe that I'm so excited to style up. But that is for another time, my friends. That is a wrap on this thrift with me. You guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope I see you in my next one.